Hello, right now we're below Hollywood Boulevard in the parking lot and I'm about to go sing for some strangers because you know nowadays it's all about promoting yourself on Instagram and on all these different platforms and apps and it's all digital so I thought today I'm just gonna sing for people in real life and I'm also gonna be answering questions that I've been getting frequently on Instagram and Twitter so let's get into it from Shad Saad Shema. Saad Shema says, highest note that you can hit. Okay, let me do it here. <laughs> Probably something like that. <laughs> Rosie Ish asks me, advice for great singing slash how did you become such a great singer? And thank you so much, Rosie Ish, for asking me this question. And I would probably say, as much as you don't want to hear it, practice. Practice, practice, practice. Listen to the great singers and mimic them and look at their technique. What are they doing to make the sounds? Once you have that locked in, bring all your passion and things you want to share and let it be the art that comes out. Just practice a lot. Hollywood Boulevard people are really hard to crack. They've seen it all. So let's try and find some other people that maybe want to listen to them. Can I hear you sing? Do you want to hear me sing? No? What you doing? You taking a photo? No, I'm singing. Oh, you're singing? Can I sing for you? Oh, yeah, but you yeah. can't film me because I do photos on tips, though. They were so nice to me. Okay, Joa PMG, what was the first song you've ever written? I had a band called Four Girls, surprisingly, we were four girls. And um, I was in third grade and I played the bass because I didn't play guitar yet. Played the bass, my dad taught me, and I wrote a song for his birthday, it's so cute. You are my sunshine, you are my joy, every day. I was wondering if I can sing for you while we walk. Sure, sure. You're yes. <laughs> I quit all those games. The still I keep on losing. So hold your stories. I'm jumping to conclusions, baby. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank you so time. much. You're That was so weird. That was just as weird as I thought it would be. I need the closure. Love me or just let me go. Hello, it is Nova Miller here coming live from you from the traffic. Wait, that's not how you say it. I'm gonna answer this question from Adele XXA underscore. She said, how was your move to LA at your age? Was it a cultural shock? And a uh, great question. Before I moved here, I was here 12 times in America, which is pretty weird because I'm signed to 2112 and everything is connected to 12. And I was here 12 times before I could move to LA. The difference was more like living alone and figuring out how to deal with like living alone and going grocery shopping and being an adult and like, um, not having like having your own responsibilities for real that was i think more the shock for me 
A lot of people are asking me about my love life. I've gotten like 20 questions about my love life. Carl Ballin says, how's your love life? Shout out please, please. Um, <laughs> my love life is non-existent. Who has time? I don't have time. I just want to love myself right now. I know that'll come. I'm not trying to force it. It takes so much energy if it's not like what it's supposed to be. So I'm just, I'm married to the music. Five miles and one hour later, we are fine. We have finally arrived in downtown. The concept of high heels like freaked me out when I think about it. It's so weird. You make yourself taller and it's really uncomfortable to walk in. We are outside of the Walt Disney Concert Hall. I've actually never been here before. I don't spend a lot of time in downtown LA. I feel like I'm in New York. It's very different. It's really, really cool. I've never been here before. My guitar is broken. Um, I just noticed, but the show must go on, so I'm just gonna go ahead and sing a cappella. Tell me you're sorry. Say that you want nothing from me. Love me or just a me. That was like a, that was like a 12. I gotta be honest, that was like a 12 out of 10. That was the voice is so like clear and strong and beautiful. That was that was awesome. Really, thank you so much. What's your name? Luan. Luan, yeah. thank you, Luan, of for course. listening. I appreciate course, you. you. Alright, too big to fail. One says favorite food. <laughs> and my favorite food is just peanut butter. I can have peanut butter anytime. That's how much I love peanut butter. We're now outside of the Walt Disney Concert Hall Community Park and we're gonna go to the top and answer one of your questions. Oh my god says what has changed the most about you right now compared to the old Nova? I think that the core of me like the person who I am Has always been kind of like the same like I've always liked being alone I've always liked not having too many friends not being around too many people. I've always loved music that has never changed about me um, and I think growing up like you get confused with trends and you get confused with who you are and people's opinions and I went through a lot of like you know mean friends and bullying and stuff I'm becoming the person that I was before I was aware of all the trends and all the mean people I'm becoming her more and more every day like the person I was originally I just want to say thank you so much to everyone that asked me so many fun and entertaining questions thank you for thinking about it and taking the time i really appreciate you i really really appreciate you being on this journey with me and i hope that this was fun to watch i'll see you next time